Okay, folks, Jim Johnson here. We have Rachel Trout. We're here. We're going to do some more pork for you today. We have a pork loin today. Okay. Now, I'm intrigued by pork loins. I mean, it looks like a fine piece of meat, but I mean, I just have a small family. What am I supposed to do with this big, huge piece of meat? You know, that's an excellent question because a lot of people overlook a pork mm -hmm. loin. They're scared of it because it's so much to it. Uh, they don't know what to do with it. But let me explain a little bit about what this pork loin is going to do. This is a boneless pork loin. And if you look at the price down here, this was bought for $10.78. All this meat for oh, $10.78. Wow. I went to the store and I bought two hand sliced pork chops, mm -hmm. two regular pork chops and everything for $6.44. Now, if I were to take this and slice it one inch thick slices, and then pound it down a little bit, guess what I would have? I would have a boneless pork chop. Really? If you look, you have the fat layer on the bottom. What do you have here? The fat, fat layer. layer on the bottom. So what happens is, is that's the end of a pork loin. So if you've ever had a boneless pork chop, mm -hmm. that's what you're eating, is the, bon oh, okay. is the boneless loin. Now, if you have a bone in, the rib cage is attached to this. So the ribs are right here on top that would attach to it like this. This is the fat that goes up toward the skin. And if you slice it and you had a bone in it, that would be the ribs that you had. So a bone-in pork chop it includes the rib cage. So what happens is we're going to take this, we're going to open this up, and we're going to do it a little bit different. So if you're at the store and you see a pork loin and it's this price and you're excited about it, go ahead and buy it. And then what you're going to do is, is you're going to take it home and you're going to slice it in one inch slices and then you're going to freeze it or whatever. Uh, you're going to package it and you're going to put it in different things so that uh, you can save them for later. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slice one of them off just to show you. And then if I pound that down a little bit, mm -hmm. does that remind you of a boneless pork chop? Absolutely. So we have a boneless pork chop right here. So we can have a lot of pork chops for the $6. This is convenience. This is economically a smart way to do it. But now what's going to happen is, is because of what we have here, I want to do it a little bit different. I want to make this exciting because as you see, it's very lean. Mm -hmm. So there's not a lot of fat, so it's going to be dry. And that's the problem with people when they do a pork loin, it gets dry too quick and they, they're not happy with it. So what's going to happen with this is, is I'm going to take this and I'm going to start a cut. I'm going to come two fingers from the end. I'm going to go straight down and I'm going to cut just like so. And I'm gonna make a cut all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, just like that. And then I'm gonna come back, two fingers from the top, go straight down. And I'm gonna make another cut. We're gonna come through this way, just like so. So I wanna be a little bit unique, a little bit different. If you want the kids to eat it, you're having company come over, you want to try to impress somebody, your, your uh, husband's boss is coming, whatever. And now all of a sudden you want to set into, you know, how can I do this? But I don't want to spend a ton of money. Can I do this economically? Well, sure you can. So we're going to take this with a good sharp knife and we're going to cut all the way through. So if you look, we have a three-legged octopus. <laughs> well, everybody knows we can't have that. Okay, now we've got this. We've got it separated, so we're gonna come in and go straight down. We're gonna cut straight all the way through and just try to keep it as even as we can so that it's uniform in size. Now what I've done is, is you can see this is a little bit harder to slice through. This part right here has been in the freezer, or this whole loin has been in the freezer for a bit, and we put it in there so that it makes it a little stiffer and easier to cut. Don't be afraid of doing it, but you're gonna put it in makes it easier to cut. We separate it. Now, all of a sudden, look, we have all these little different uh, cuts here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna layer this with flavor. So you're gonna put dry rub on it and then we're gonna flip it and we're gonna put it on all sides. We're gonna put all this flavor in there we'd possibly get. Again, we're going to uh, utilize the flavors that we're working with. You know, salt, the pepper, the garlic powder, the onion powder, all the things that go well with pork. And then you're gonna add some of the Becky Sue rub, which is an all, all around, all purpose dry rub. You notice there's some pepper flakes floating to the top there. Uh, it's gonna have paprika and it's gonna have salt, sugar, peppers, you know, all the flavors that are gonna make the, the, the meat pop. 
So we want all those flavors to pop. We want it to taste good. All right, now I'm gonna flip this over and we're gonna do exactly the same thing all over again on this side. Now what's happening is, is this is gonna put flavor everywhere we are so that no matter where you get a bite, you're gonna have flavor. Again, we got fat in here that's gonna help with the flavor profile. It's gonna render out. It's gonna leave nice uh, flavor behind. We've got all those flavors going and popping for us. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this back over like so. We're gonna come out here on these two and we're just going to do it like a German pretzel. We're gonna braid it, turn it, braid it. Now, when you're at home and you wanna do this, you're welcome to do so, but you can take it and when you get to the end, get some of those wooden skewers like you would use for shish kebabs and you can stick through the ends and it won't separate on you. But in this case, I know how to put it together and I know how to put it on the grill so it'll stick and it'll, it'll stay together like that. So we won't worry about that. But it, for those at home that are afraid, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a skewer right through it and it'll go all the way through the end. That way you can pick it up by this piece and by the skewer and take it straight to the grill. How does that look? Okay, folks, Jim and Rachel, we're back with you right now. You see how it's starting to sweat, it's pulling the moisture out? Mm -hmm. So that means the salt is pulling the moisture to the surface. So when we put it on the smoker, it's gonna take all that moisture back in, plus it's gonna pull the smoke in, it's gonna have a nice flavor. I want you to remind you of one thing though, have a really nice, good thermometer, because we only wanna cook this to an internal temperature of 145 degrees. Because if we overcook it, it's gonna be so dry, we want it to have flavor. But we're gonna open up the smoker, we're gonna put this on the smoker, and trust me, this is gonna be better than your neighbors. We're gonna put it on there. We're gonna braid it, twist it, braid it. We're gonna twist it, braid it. Make it look pretty. Now, when I get to the end and this really small piece like this, I'm gonna fold that under so it's uniform in size. Same thing on this side. You'll notice how small it is. That's gonna overcook quick. So we're gonna fold that under and make that all one piece. So we're gonna put that just like so. We're gonna put it on the grill. I'm gonna add a little bit of opening here so I can get smoke to come up through it. Round it up, make it look good. Turn this under so it cooks evenly. Nice, pretty presentation. We're gonna take it out in a bit and we're gonna put a barbecue sauce on it and you're not gonna believe your mouth and your taste buds. Okay, folks, we're back. It's Jim and Rachel. We're here. We've got a braided pork loin on the grill. Let me talk a little bit about what we did. We took a pork loin, we sliced it, turned it over on the side, sliced it again, left it attached at the top, and then we seasoned it up really, really well. We braided it, we put it on the smoker. We're smoking at about 250. I've cranked it up to the end there, just at about 275, just to speed things up. If you notice that when we first put this on, it was real, real light out. Now it's starting to get darker and darker. We have a tornado coming. So, but it doesn't slow us down because we are better than your neighbor. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna cook this pork loin. We've got it off. We cooked it to an internal temperature of 145 degrees. Takes about an hour, hour and 15 minutes to do it the way we want it to be done. So we've cooked it for about an hour and 15 minutes. We sped it up a little bit faster than we probably needed to, but it's gonna be good. We've checked the temperatures. We're gonna take it off. So now we're gonna show you from a distance. I want you to take a quick look at this because we're trying to get this off the grill before the storm takes the grill away from us. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna take a pair of tongs. We're gonna pull this out. If you would pull that drawer out a little bit. Well, maybe I will. Now, we've got a beautiful, beautiful pork loin on there. I'm gonna ask Rachel to hold this. The storm's picking up, you can feel the wind. So we're gonna try to get, get this done before we all fly off to Kansas. <laughs> all right, don't let me burn you. Okay. We're gonna bring this over onto the cutting board, just like so. And then we're gonna have this beautiful, beautiful. Now, what we've got, Rachel's gonna take this and she's gonna add some barbecue sauce to it. We're adding some flavor to it. Storm's picking up a little bit. If we do this right and everything, we should have a beautiful, good piece of meat here really, really quick. I wanna check the internal temperature again real quick because I wanted to cook it to 145. Even the flies are coming to have dinner for this. Look at this. Went to 145, it's cooled off just a little bit. So we're good there, we're good there. So we're good. Now, 
what we've got. We've got a really nice looking loin there. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna come back. Remember how I told you that if it was real uh, lean, mm -hmm. we tuck it under? Yes. So it tucks under and cooks even for us. Nice. I'm just gonna take the knife, cut this. We got that nice color to it. If you'll see. Got flavor all the way through and through. You got that nice color, you got that nice smoke ring. You'll see that beautiful little pink smoke ring all the way around the edge. So this is a nice piece of pork. So this is beautiful, cooked perfect, a lot of flavor. Yeah. Rachel, can I get you to try that? Sure. So we have that Delicious. nice. This is gonna be nice, perfect. Folks, we hate to cut this short, but we've been told to evacuate the area. We're gonna get this thing going. We're gonna get it turned around. Remember, I want to teach you to be better than your neighbor. You guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back to see you soon.